I love receiving letters in the mail. Do you? Hi, I'm Judy Shearwaters. Welcome to my channel. Here I bring you author interviews of ordinary people who had a story to share with the world. I also bring you short writing prompts so that it'll get your creative juices going in your own head and you can write your own words down, your stories down for your generations to come. Because you know what? You have a story to tell. So let me help you tell it. I do love receiving letters in the mail. Someone had to write, hand write a letter, then write out the address on the envelope, put that return sticker on or write out their return address, put a stamp on it, and then take it to the, to the mailbox. It just took a little more time to get that sent off to you. And it seems as though we appreciate those type letters a little more than just an email or a text. I have the last letter that my grandmother sent me the month before she passed away. And I have treasured this for years. She passed away in 1979. And she was not sick. She died just a month after sending this to me. And I just love it because it's in her handwriting that I recognize as grandma's handwriting. And in there, she just tells me she loves me. It just, it's so meaningful to me. So today, I want to challenge you to write a letter to a loved one. A letter to your, a grandchild or to your son or daughter. Write a letter where you're confirming your love for them. Tell them what qualities you really appreciate in them and your prayers, your wishes for their success in the world. When you're done with it, you can go ahead and mail it out or you could just put it in your journal and leave it in your journal for later days. If you enjoy receiving, uh, getting writing prompts like this uh, periodically, go ahead and like my channel, subscribe, click that little bell there so you're notified every time I put out another video like this. I promise you, they're all very short, very quick, but I hope that they will get you thinking about putting your own words into writing for your generations to come. So until next time, I'm Judy Shearwaters. You have a story to tell. Let me help you tell it.